What is going on guys? How are we all doing? So today we're going to be taking a look at this little fella here. This is, it's not even a new kit anymore. It's been out for like almost a year, I think, about eight or nine months. Um, it is the Nord by Schmach. It is a little all-in-one kit with an 1100 milliamp battery. It comes in a wide array of different colours. And to be honest with you, it's just a little proper pocket rocket that you can just take with you all day. You can have either mouth to lung or direct to lung coils with it. And yeah, it's boss. So without further ado, we're going to drop it down to the table. We're going to do it, um, go around the packaging slightly and have a little closer look at this. It is the Schmach Nord AIO. Beastie little fella. See you all in just a little minute. So, welcome to the table camera section of the Smock Nord Kit. So, I've been a little bit lax with this one. I haven't put this video up for a while. I haven't even recorded it for a while. I've had the Nord for about three months. Uh, and I just haven't got round to doing it, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's uh, pretty standard Smock packaging, what you would expect. Pop that little sleeve off, you get a little book in quite a few different languages as you would normally expect from Schmach. You get a little bag of rice, which you should not eat. Might be the Matrix though, you never know. You get the world's smallest USB cable, like it's may as well just not include one to be honest with you. It is absolutely tiny. Put that seal back on. absolutely tiny you get a little foam sleeve so you get this little 1.4 ohm round wire coil and it's got two little um, o-rings on the top pretty sizable wicken ports a little bit of airflow on the bottom and you get your positive and negative connections pretty standard we'll have a little look at the other coil this is the 0 0.6 ohm. This is the mesh coil. A hell of a lot of flavor, a hell of a lot of vapor. Quite a sizable air port, um, airflow port and there. Same connections on the bottom. But, look at the size difference between the two coils. The 0 0.6 mesh is a hell of a lot beefier than what the 1.4 round wire is. Pop them to one side. So, let's have a look at the actual device itself. This is 94 millimeters tall by 30 millimeters wide and it is 18.8 .8 millimeters deep. So basically 20, 19 millimeters deep. It's got an 1100 milliamp battery sat inside here. It is in the UK available for a two milliliter capacity. The output wattage is 10 to 15 watts. The charging current is 3.7 milliamp hours. It's got a charging voltage of 5 volts and it weighs 80 grams. So it's quite a heavy little pod system to be fair. But yeah, we've got a little charging port on the bottom. Just a normal micro USB charging port. There on the bottom, we've got the button on the top. We've got smock, we've got this nice resin. This has got, the Nord's got something like 40 colours, 40 colours or something, I'll try and include a little photo in it, um, and to get into the pod to change the coil, you need to give this a little wiggle out, inside there you've got quite a deep well with two grooves on either side just here, and you've got three pins at the bottom, one of them being your positive, your two being your negatives, you get a fill port on the side there, I really like this, compared to a lot of other pods that came out around the same kind of time, I think the Nord is quite a bit newer than some of them, but this kind of shape pod system, it's not even a pod, it's an all-in-one. But with the fill port being on the side, like so, it reduces the leaking coming out of the bottom because on a lot of pods that came out around this kind of time, it had the fill port on the bottom, like so, and it was a little bit of a pain. Inside there, don't know if you can see that, there is a rubber grommet which reduces the capacity. Um, you can pull that out if you want with a screwdriver, but you know, it only takes it up to 3mm, which is obviously a little bit better, but that's up to you. 
you've got a little bit of smock labeling on the actual plastic and you've got this big chuff cap on the top which you can inhale your vapors from obviously when you prime your coil when you put this in you want to prime your coil and you do that by putting a little bit of liquid on all these exposed bits of cotton and a couple of drops down the top of it as well and then when you want to put it in you want to line it up so it fits in that way around so you've got a little gap underneath there to get your fingernail into it to pop it out and also when you plug it into here because you've got your three posts there and you've got your three sections on this you want your middle one to be on you want the metal to cover them all rather than sit on it like that and it's obviously going to miss two of these sections so like that obviously and fill it up just through the side there it is a little bit tricky to get into when the brand new but once you've had it for a week or so it is really easy to be honest with you so yeah that was a little up close and personal with the smock node we're going to pass up to facetime and i'm going to tell you the pros and cons and what i actually think of this device in day-to-day -day use thank you very much and i'll see you all in just a little second bye So, <coughs> fucking hell, so, welcome back up top, welcome back up top, hope you all enjoyed the little down low, up and close personal action, um, so we're going to go through a couple of things with this, we're going to start off with the build quality as we generally do, the actual build quality is solid on it, um, it's got a good weight, it just feels like it bounces, in fact, this one I've got here, this is my second one, my first one, it took an absolute pound and it really did um, and it only died when I dropped it in a cup of tea so yeah I'm alright with that I'm alright with that um, but yeah the build quality is absolutely awesome it's flawless I've had no issues with it and can I have stocked them in the shop for about three four five months now maybe five months and don't think I've ever had one return, which is quite surprising because, like, I've made no secret, I'm, I've never been the massivest fan of smock gear in terms of quality control and stuff like that. But the latest batch of gear that they're bringing out is absolutely spot on, to be honest with you. If I was wearing a hat, I'd take my hat off to you, smock. You're listening, thank you. But yet, the um, I've had no issues with this whatsoever. I've had my own one now for like four months, so to it's taken its time to get this reviewed done it properly you see done it properly um but yeah it looks really nice these there's a wide array of different colors you can get i think there's like 30 odd colors um which is absolutely ridiculous to be honest with you but they're all dead nice they're all really nice looking pieces of kit um so i've really really enjoyed using this kit the last couple of months it's been an absolute pleasure and to be honest with you it's not been out of my hand the whole time and when mine actually broke, it was about a week before I got another one. And I was like, ah, I was missing it, you know what I mean? I was missing it. So we're going to go through a couple of pros and cons with this kit. The... <coughs> the First of all, obviously, the build quality is absolutely spot on. The buttons all work, everything's in the right place. Um, the battery lasts forever. What is it? It's an 1100 milliamp battery. Like with the 0 0.6 on coil, I get most of a day out of it. And like, I vape a lot. Like, I vape a hell of a lot, you know what I mean? But with the 1.4 on coil in it, or whatever it is, yeah, 1.4, like I get like a day and a half, nearly two days out of my battery, which is absolutely ridiculous, you know what I mean? It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, the, so the battery life's absolutely awesome on it, and the actual coil life on it is awesome as well. The coil life on these are amazing. Um, like I get easily up to two weeks of decent flavour and to be honest with you I don't think I've actually had one burn out on me apart from like if I've overpressed the button a little bit too long rather than natural use you know what I mean but um, I've, I get up to two, wheels, two weeks out of the coils generally about a week and a half before the flavour goes but you know what I mean that, that's, that's fantastic really that is boss um, the flavour on both coils, whether, well there's a good couple of coils out now, um, but the flavour on both coils that was released, that comes in the package as you buy it. You've got a 1.4 round wire coil, 1.4 ohm round wire coil and you've got a 0.6 ohm mesh coil as well. Um, the flavour off both of them is absolutely fantastic. 
I do find that you get a little bit more flavour off the 0 0.6, but that is, um, that's probably because it takes a little bit more power, it gives you a little bit more vapour, just a little bit more going on, but the flavour for the mouth to lung off the 1.4 ohm coil is, it's, it's nothing to be, with, like, um, it's nothing to be sniffed at, what? It's nothing to be overlooked, like it is, it's clean, crisp flavour. I really like that you've got a choice of whether you've got mouth to lung or direct to lung with the two different coils like we've just mentioned then. Uh, the 1.4 obviously is a mouth to lung and the 0 0.6 is a direct to lung coil. I like the fact that you've got the options. Um, the mouthpiece on this, it is really comfortable. I really like it, but at first, it is, it is very big though. At first I was a bit like, that's not going to be great. But you know what, it is, once you got used to it, it's a really comfortable mouthpiece. And you can't complain about it whatsoever. And my final pro point on this as well is the fact that it comes in so many different like styles. Like honest to God, when I'm ordering them into the shop, there's like ten different options of like what kind of things. I think these are called like shell, and then you've got like bubbles, you've got oil splatter, you've got resin, you've got carbon. I think the build bringing out a stab wood one, which is fucking ridiculous to be honest with you. Um. Bring on to a couple of cons. Just quite hard to um, find any cons with this. In all honesty, I am. I've really enjoyed pretty much everything to do with this kit. Um, one con, which it can be helped, the amount of coils that I have burnt out on this while it's been in my pocket or while it's been in my hand with a couple of other things. Obviously, you should be turning off your devices when you're not using them, and I do tell all my customers to that all my customers to do that but like i never really seem to do that myself which is a bit silly really but the button is very sensitive on this it is ridiculously sensitive and um, so i don't know what could be done to fix that apart from not being stupid and turning off your actual kit but the button is very sensitive um, and the little window that's in there it is quite a small window and you can't really see an awful lot of what's going on inside there and it would also be nice if a little light was included, like what other lights, was it the Nautilus, not the Nautilus, the, the Breeze, the, the Breeze 1, the original Breeze and maybe the Breeze 2, I don't know if the Breeze 2 had it, but the Breeze 1 definitely had a little light in there. And it was good, you could, you could see your liquid a little bit more clearly. But yeah, that's pretty much everything from this, the Smoch Nord, went through my pros, went through my cons. It's cheap as chips as well, which is always boss. You can get them on the internet for buttons. You can get them in the shop, in shops, and this shop for buttons as well. Um, I think that's covered everything. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Bobo. We are the Vapory. You can find us on the internet. You can find us on YouTube, obviously. Here, here. You can find our website on the internet at thevapory.shop as well, which is boss, and you can get some vape punks from there. Big up the vape punk. The previous video of this is a little run through on vape punks and what the actual flavours are and how we came to get these flavours. And um, there's also a little chance to win as well, so go and get yourself entered. Thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Bobo. We've been the Vapory, and this has been the Smoch Nord. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. See you in a bit.